Good afternoon everyone. Today's lecture is over threading using VB.NET. Now starting with introduction. What is threads? Threads are series of instruction to execute. CPU schedule them to execute. Each CPU core can only execute one thread at a time. Threads are preempted to allow other threads to execute. Now how .NET provide a support for threading? It provides two basic ways. First, it provides a library system.threading.thread. Second, using background worker control now discussing some of the state of thread we have states of thread unstarted running suspended requested suspended wait sleep join re abort requested aborted and background and these are the some procedure which are provided by dotnet to function over threads start resume wait timeout etc now coming to the practical now before this, before showing you practical of threading, I would show you what is the problem for what we use threading. Now, uh, I am drawing a, I am creating a form having two buttons which control two countdowns. This is the basic program and is been used to introduce students about threading. We must specify it to zero first. Now first we should create two functions sub procedure. And we should declare two variables would be as integer and while is less than equal to thirty. Text equal to a dot refresh and one thing more system dot threading dot thread dot sleep four hundred microseconds. Now copying this procedure and making that for second variable that is p. Now first we execute this program. Oh sorry, I have to change one configuration setting. Let me have it. Now it won't problem you anymore. Now when I click on this button, it will start a timer like loop uh, which will change value in label. Now while this is running you could see I cannot click on any other control like I have click on this I cannot click on this button one till the button second progress is over and this process go on. Now why this happens because our code can execute one process at a time or one thread at a time. Now if we working our major thread as a single thread then we cannot support multi-threading for this 
we have to go for multi threading to provide a support for multi uh, multiple execution of uh, multiple procedures now this is the first program we would do for this we have to import two libraries sorry one library or you no there is no need of it we could refer it directly now dim t1 comma t2 as system dot threading dot threads t1 equal to new system dot threading dot thread address of we have to specify that this thread would address to which procedure St oh sorry now start now same for second but using second thread variable Now when I will run this it will give you an error I will tell you why now there is an error this is because our thread cannot access other controls directly for this we have to refer one statement in our form load now it won't cause any problem now you could see you could run two loops simultaneously they won't contradict each other now this is what threading makes us now coming to a more good programming side I will show you that how to make a professional software like we use internet dongle and we ha we can notice one thing that when we connect the dongle to our PC or laptop it automatically get detected by the software installed over our, our PC now how they could detect a presence of removal device over serial port or USB port now for this first we have to create an Windows application form making you cl more clear about the problem we are dis I am discussing I would like to have a list of removable and non-removable drives in my list box and the list must be updated time to time for this we could do we could use to oh okay I don't need a text box I could work without it okay for this I have to go for two uh, two procedures, two libraries. First is imports system dot reflection and second import system dot input output because I have to deal with input output files or input output drives. Now I have to declare two uh, two threads T1 comma T2 as and I will use one flag for my convenience as boolean and initially it is equal to true ok now I would like to create a procedure fill drive uh, I have to create array as as input 
input output dot drives info equal to input output dot drives info dot get drives this is the input inbuilt library functions dim d as i do not just drive info for each p in If D is is ready true and D dot drive type equal to removable then I would like to add it to my list and D dot name. You must notice if I am talking about removable drive I could I have to use two properties that is d dot name or d dot volume or i could use both of them but we cannot use d dot root directory but if i am talking about non removable drives or you could say partition which are already in existence over your drive then we have to specify d dot root directory root directory okay before this I would like to empty my list so that every time there must be no duplicate value now I would like to check one thing. Now all of this stuff is over. Okay. Okay. Now uh, I would like to create another process which will check this list provide sub check run while run equal to true I would like to create a new process t1 dot or you can say new thread thread address of field drive t1 dot start and on this side first I have to create a new thread link dot thread and it would add this to check run function or procedure uh, sorry I am saying function again and again I have a habit of it now we have to specify a check for all exception we dot check for what happened I think there is a problem All illegal exceptions. Uh, check what happened. Okay, the defaults. Okay, so uh, I think my procedure is already complete. Okay, I haven't used button here or okay for testing this. I would like to have one removal drive with me so that I could make you sure that this function is working properly and one thing more I would control this procedure using and button control else run equal to true and t2 continue system dot threading dot thread that would address to check run t2 dot start okay now my work is over now oh sorry I have to select our current form mm -hmm. what I'm doing I'm 
लिटल कन्फ्यूज टूडे बिकॉज नॉट हैबिचुअल विद दिस मल्टी थ्रेडिंग ओके आई थिंक आई हैव मैंशन आई हैवेंट मैंशन डेट टाइम इंटरवल ओके आई हैव टू मैंशन डेट टाइम इंटरवल सिस्टम डॉट थ्रेडिंग डॉट थ्रेड आई वुड लाइक फॉर आई वुड गो फॉर थाउजेंड एट सेकेंड डिले डॉट स्लीप सॉरी ओके इट विल take time to refresh now i have disconnected one of my usb and now i am connecting one usb again to my pc and this will generate one another drive letter and now i am disconnecting it again and our problem is solved and we have developed an program for detecting usb drive and now we could use this button also like i have i click on this button and now i disconnect and reconnect my usb but there is no change in list because our process is off but i click on okay and i disconnect and it go once okay now coming to our background worker control now this is one way of controlling thread and uh, okay i will show you one problem also that i have started this thread and i close my program but the program is still running because i have closed my threads and for closing the thread first we could go for one procedure that is we could go for abort procedure like on closing form closing Okay, I will show you event. Form mm. closing event. T1 dot abort and T2 dot abort. Uh, okay, you must check this procedure that it invoked to begin the termination terminating the thread while also preventing also providing exception information about the thread termination and one way also one another way also that is using end statement that i am ending my form and it stand to end my project also it will co close all the threads now i would like to show you second example using background worker control and i would go for go on the way for giving a lecture over a simple project or simple program that is universally been taught in first lecture of background worker that is prog uh, using progress bar using background worker for this i would like to have one focus bar yes and after this we would do we would do the same program that we have previously developed that to detect usb removal drive using thread now after this we will develop it using background worker control i have to specify some of the properties which will clear you more first of all i would start and i would change my name sorry control name not my name Okay. Now I would like to code 
my stuff or my ticket. Give me a second. Okay, now first doing code over start button. I would first like to have a global variable that is count as integer and I would like to specify count value to 30 initially this program you will find universally in each and every video tool for threading oh sorry I have specified button control name ok we will go continue with that only enable equal to false and btn cancel dot I think I have written wrong spelling I will change it true and one thing more I have to do is I have to you drop a background worker control here and I have to specify okay first I will I would change the naming convention which I have named wrong start and background worker dot run worker asynchronously now coming to word cancel button if background worker dot is busy if background worker one dot work serves port cancellation then background worker one dot cancel is now why I have done so much of code for cancellation because sometimes it is not allowed to clo close or cancel the working of background uh, worker control because sometimes it is in critical section and we can't afford to unstabilize our program by closing it down so this code would check for any of the exception like it is busy and uh, it is not busy in the normal cases uh, and there is no need for cancellation and second is when it doesn't support cancellation then we cannot go for cancelling it down and btn start dot enable equal to true and btn cancel dot enable equal to false dot enabled ok now coming to our background worker control this code check is there is any cancellation request in the queue if there is then cancel the working and exit this loop otherwise e dot cancel equal to true and for this now I will threading dot thread dot sleep now why I am specifying sleep so that you could see a delay in whole working otherwise it will go on frequent very it will go very frequently and you even cannot detect the change count multiply by 100 and ok I have to call one another event that it must report progress change and this event I would use for progress bar 
dot value equal to e dot books as percentage now our program is complete now oh we I'm <laughs> again on same error I haven't specified Check for illegal exceptions. Thread calls. Now I'm on my way. Okay. 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 We have two properties that we have to turn it turn on. That first worker request progress report progress and support cancellation. Now you could see the progress bar running, and this is the way that how we would go over progress bar. Progress bar use progress bar using background worker control. Now coming toward one more example, that repeating previous USB port scanner using background worker control. And for this, I would use one list box. And one background worker control. One button to start or stop my work. Nothing I would need. Okay, now starting with them. Okay, I have to introduce two libraries in my form that is system dot deflection and import system dot input output. Now I have to declare two threads variables or objects you can see and then run as boolean equal to true okay. now first I have to make same deck same deck or uh, definite okay or you can see initialization for me dot check for illegal exceptions go to false and now I would declare or first I would create a function which we have created in same in previous project that is check run it would run this code till run equal to true okay sorry and for this I, I have to specify background worker run asynchronously and system dot system dot threading dot thread dot sleep for some time we must sleep for some time okay Okay, I must combine it with new thread. Thread address of check run and t1 dot start on form log. And now coming to our background worker control, we could copy this our code from here. Now in this we won't need this function or use this procedure fill drive because this work would be performed by our background worker control and one thing more I have to use 
this one now uh, now in here we could go for this run equal to false and t1 dot about else run equal to true and t1 equal to new system dot threading dot thread address of check run and t1 dot start now it is all over now this is working we could check by connecting new USB con device to my port and this is working quite efficiently okay now this is end of today's lecture I would show you that how could we use threading for security of our softwares in next lecture thank you